We are at Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport, Terminal 1, and we are going to do our tax refund. First up, I've always wanted to know what time this opens, and I had not been able to find the information online, so here we are. They open at 5.30 a.m. The sign doesn't say what time they close, so I assume they'll close after the last flight before 5.30 a.m. Now you do not check in your baggages yet, all right? Bring everything with you because you don't know if the officers might want to have a look at your purchases, so don't check in yet. And these are the bags that I have. I've got three hard cases, which I will check in later on. Three Longchamp Le Pliage bags. The medium shoulder bag is my shoulder bag. The two large Le Pliage, which are actually the L and the XL size, will be my cabin bag or my carry-on bags. The new handbags that I bought in Paris are all in that two Le Pliage tote bags. And the reason I use them, first of all, is because of security reasons. I just don't want to check them in. I prefer to carry them with me. Second reason is that using a soft bag like that doesn't cause my bags to be squished into a hard case. So I prefer to use the soft Le Pliage tote bags. And the third reason is just that it's much easier for me to pull out any handbag that the officer might want to inspect. Imagine having your purchases in the suitcases and the officer asks to see them. You have to flip open your suitcase and everyone around you will be able to see the contents, which might be embarrassing sometimes. You may also feel very pressured about trying to pack everything back into the suitcase as quickly as possible. And this is especially true when you're traveling alone. Do plan to do this early. It doesn't look like a long queue here today, so I was quite lucky. But we never know on another day there might be a long queue. Usually we check in like two hours before flight, right? I would say give yourself another extra two hours to do this or even maybe extra three hours. It's better to be early and then when you have spare time, you can just roam around the airport. And for those of you who have access to the lounge, you can spend some time at the lounge as well. Or maybe you can go to a restaurant somewhere and just kill some time. Otherwise, there are shops to visit as well. So let's go in. So here we are at the screen. First, you select the language that you prefer and then you'll be guided to some reminders that you make sure you have your tax refundable goods with you, your passport, your travel ticket and make sure you leave the EU after validation. And here is where we are going to start scanning. So there is a scanner right uh, under the screen. Sorry, I couldn't capture everything for you. And it's a pretty awkward angle, as you can see, because I was one person trying to balance my camera, my phone on the other hand, as well as the documents. So excuse me if you're seeing this at a weird angle. There it is. That's the scanner. So here I am trying to scan the first one. Very quickly, you see it goes green, which means it is approved. So you can just put that aside. Try to stay calm and organized. And then you do your next one. And there you have the red one indicating that you have to go and see the officer afterwards, which means you'll have to join another queue to get to the counter where the officers are and present him the documents that have been marked red or non-validated, as well as the goods for inspection. In the meantime, just continue scanning all the documents, finish up all the scanning before you join the next queue. I ended up having two pieces which had to be presented for inspection, so we joined the queue. So I'll just tell you the process since I couldn't record the conversation I had with the officer. What happened was when it came to my turn, I approached the counter and presented the two forms that were unvalidated at the kiosk. He went through them and then he asked to see one of them first, one of the handbags. So I picked up the handbag, presented it to him, he looked it over and then he keyed in some information into his system and then he returned the form to me and repeated the same process for the next form. 
Okay, welcome back. So let's address some of these questions that I often see being asked over and over again in similar videos as this. Hopefully I can provide some clarification because I think a lot of people are pretty confused about the whole process. So let's get started. First one is where do you get form to begin with? The forms are issued by the store, by the boutique that you buy your goods from. So they will probably know that you are a tourist and uh, they will help you to process the form. And second, what do you have to show to present to the store to get your form issued? So make sure you always have your passport with you. So when you are going to Paris, whether you, you plan to shop or not, just bring it with you because you never know, you might just pop in. Oh, you could be there on a vacation, but you never know, you might just pop into the boutique and decide to buy something. And if you want to get this tax form, form issued for you, please have your passport with you and also your credit card, the card that you wish to get your refund into. And uh, yeah, you know, when you go to Paris or when you go to France or Europe generally, or Euro, you really don't want to miss doing your tax refund because you do save quite a lot. So please don't miss out on the tax refund. Uh, next question is, why, why do they ask for your credit card again? I think this, is the, this confusion is, what happens is when you are making the purchase, you are going to, the, to make payment for the things that you're going to buy, you will give them your credit card. And then when they, when they are processing the tax refund form, which usually is probably the same counter, uh, they will ask you about the credit card again. And some people get a bit confused because, you know, there is also that language barrier. Sometimes it gets a bit confusing and you're not able to clarify. The reason is because you can actually get your tax refund into a different credit card from the one that you are using to pay for your goods. That is absolutely fine. For whatever reason, if you want to do that, it is okay to do that. That's the reason why they ask. If they don't ask you the second time about your credit card for the refund, I think they just assume that you want the refund back into the same card that you made the purchase from. But if they do ask you a second time which credit card, this is the reason why. Because uh, this information will then be put into the system and it will be generated on the form itself. So your passport number and the credit card number will be put on the tax refund form. So that when you go to the airport and scan the documents, all the information just gets transferred directly from your form into the system and you don't have to fumble with having to key in your credit card number on the kiosk at the airport. Next question is, do you get one form per item? So let's say you go to the store and you pick up 10 different items, a combination of say a scarf, SLG, uh, of course, handbag and a bunch of other things. Do you get one form per item? Uh, no, you get one form per receipt. That's a short answer. So if you go to the store and um, you pick all these items, you go and pay for it and all, all the 10 items are on one receipt, you will get one form issued and all these 10 items will be listed in the form itself. That will be done by the cashier. They will key it in and all will be generated onto one form. So no, it is one form per receipt, not one form per item. Uh, another question is, what if you change your mind about your purchase? So I, this, this question pertains to what's going to happen to the form that was issued, the tax form that was already issued with all the items listed as I mentioned earlier on. And then somewhere during your trip, you change your mind about one of the items on the form. What happens? So what happens is you will have to go to the store, obviously with the item that you want to return and then you pick out something else. Bring along the item, the receipt for the purchase that you made, as well as the tax form. It's very important because they're going to void both. They will void the receipt, original receipt, and they will also void the original tax form that they issued and they will reissue everything fresh. Uh, the, the other items that were originally on the list plus the new piece that you decided to buy. 
Excuse me, that is my alarm. My quinoa is ready. Be right back. So there's my quinoa. Just want to show to you. <laughs> so I'm just going to like toss it a little bit and leave it to cool down. And I'll be back again. Okay, let's continue. Just to let you know, there's going to be a very interesting last question. Uh, so please stick around. But in the meantime, the next question is, is there a minimum spend to qualify for a tax refund? Last I checked was 100 euros. So you got to, within the same day and the same store. Let's say you go to LV in Champs-Élysées and you spend less than 100, which is quite unlikely, but let, let's just say, assume that you spend less than 100 there and then you go to another LV store and you spend another less than 100. You can't combine them uh, to make the minimum. You have to spend that minimum 100 euro, same day, same store, and then you can get a tax refund form issued. That, this was the last I checked, but be sure you check that out when you're going to Paris, whenever that might be, on the more updated regulations. Next, do I have to show the packaging uh, to the customs officer? No, you don't have to. In my case, I actually packed the packaging of the my new handbags, like the LV boxes and Chanel boxes. I packed them separately in my check-in baggage, although I have not checked them in. But I packed them in my suit, my large suitcases because I needed to nestle them one inside another and then put stuff inside there to be able to fit everything into my check-in baggage. So the packaging were in a separate place, whereas my new handbags were in my carry-on case. So no, officer is not going to require you to show the packaging and everything with the ribbon and all that and do an unboxing in front of him. No, no need to do that. So don't worry about that. You can pack the, the boxes separately. Do I have to share? Uh, no. Can I use my new handbag in Paris? You're not supposed to. <laughs> the whole point of them giving you a tax refund is because the goods are supposed to be exported out of the country and you can use them back outside the country, wherever you may be going to. So no, you're not supposed to use your bag. Uh, I'm saying you're not supposed to, but you do you. Uh, I know I know some people say, well, I, it's very tempting, even for me, because I bought so many handbags, it's like, I wanted to take them out and take pictures in Paris with my new handbag, right? But uh, I just didn't want to take the risk because what if you got into the bag, got into some kind of accident, like somebody scraped against it or somebody spilled wine on the bag and then and it so happens when you go to the airport and do this tax refund thing and the officer wants to see the bag and the bag is stained and looks obviously used uh, then i don't know they might actually uh, deny or you know actually reject your claim so you're not supposed to <laughs> much i will say uh how long did it take for you to get paid? Pretty quickly, all my purchases were, uh, I, I asked for refund through credit card and they all came in uh, within in less than two months. Some of them came in like less than a week upon my return to Singapore within a few days. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just like basically like two, three weeks. I got the money back in my credit card account. I can't comment about cash. My cash, you will get it on the spot, but I can't comment about the actual process. So then, uh, which leads to another question, like how do you do cash refund? So like I said, I didn't do cash refund, but I did see a couple of uh, booths or counters. They were pretty enclosed. I think maybe for safety reasons, because people are being handed cash. There were these little, uh, doorways that led you to another counter which is where you will do your cash refund so I assume you will just go there present your form and uh, they give you cash on the spot uh, but no I don't have direct experience with that but that is what I saw and this last question do I have to mail the form now this is the most interesting part uh, 
with this new Pablo Kiosk system, which you saw me doing the scanning and all that, it's so easy. Uh, you technically don't need to, and all this is actually. Let me show you. Okay, out of I had nine forms issued. Out of them, all eight were issued under Global Blue, and one under Planet Tax Free. And you can't choose anyway. When you go to the store, they have uh, their own uh, collaboration with the respective companies processing. So you can't choose it. I want to. I want to get my refund through Global Blue or Planet Tax Free. You can't. But anyway, both of them said basically the same thing in on the back, the fine print. I'll read it to you. This one is some like a workflow thing, but it basically means the same thing. And I'll read it to you. If your tax free form has been electronically export validated at the Pablo kiosk, you do not need to post it back to Planet. Unless you want a credit card refund and the credit card number is not electronically printed on the form. So, so listen to this. When you scan the document, as I mentioned to you, your credit card information should be on the form. When you scan, the information gets transferred directly through the kiosk into the system. So with that, you don't need to mail the form. So the next part that they said uh, was, unless you want a credit card refund, and the credit card number is not electronically printed on the form. Now, for whatever reason, if the cashier doesn't ask you for your credit card number, or maybe you, I don't know why, you know, and it happened to me. I will tell you an exact incident that happened to me out of all these forms. Um, YSL, YSL, they, they asked for my passport, they issued the form and they didn't put my credit card number on the form. And I actually didn't realize that. I went to the airport, I scanned the form and I just assumed that I didn't have to mail it back. So I didn't mail the form back. So according to this, if I didn't have a credit card number on the form, I had to write it in manually on the form and post it back with this prepaid envelope. This is not the one. The one, the YSL one is somewhere around here. So by right, I was supposed to write my credit card number on the form and I had to mail it back, but I didn't. So I came back and I just basically brought back everything with me, all the forms, none of these were mailed back. And guess what? I got all my refunds back. However, back to the case on YSL, I went into the Global Blue app. I downloaded the app to follow up on my refunds and the one under YSL was pending for a very long time. So I was puzzled because everything else on the app showed completed, completed, completed and then the money came into my bank account. But YSL kept hanging there saying it was uh, pending. So I got worried and then I contacted them through email and uh, at first they said they were processing and then subsequently with a few other times of communication and I was chasing them, they said I had to put my credit card information in. Then I realized that my credit card information was not scanned in. Ah, oh, good thing they asked. So then I went into the system, I went into the app, I keyed in my credit card information and finally they the processing restarted and then they um, yeah, they went ahead and made the payment into my credit card eventually. So, but back to the question about do I have to mail the form back? That is how you're supposed to do it. Okay, let me recap. If your form had your passport information as well as the credit card information in, on the form, you scan it. You don't have to mail the form back. But if you, your form didn't have your credit card information in it, the card that you're going to get your refund from, 
you are supposed to write it in. There is a, a place where you can fill in manually your credit card number and then you have to mail it. There are boxes around the premises at the airport where you can drop off the form. You're supposed to do that. So don't do what I did. I mean, it's a risk. I don't know if I was lucky, but to make it every, everything really simple is really at the point in time when you are at the store, at the boutique, get them to key in the information of your credit card for refund on the form right from the start. And then you don't have to think about different processes, how, which form you have to mail back, which form you don't have to mail back. It's going to be so complicated. Just get all of them done under the same process. Give them your passport, give them the credit card number that you want to be paid in, all on the form. So those are some of the common questions. If you have other questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments box down below. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe as I said before and um, share the video if you find that this is going to be helpful to someone, a friend or a relative who is going to Paris. By the way, sharing, commenting, liking the video also helps a lot to introduce for the, to encourage the YouTube algorithm to introduce our videos to new viewers. So that's how we can continue to grow. So I really appreciate your help and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!